Today we're talking about small living spaces and how to take advantage of their coziness while making them feel more spacious. So let's get started. Hi everyone, Liz here. Welcome to Balance and Rhythm. Studies show that of all the rooms in our homes, living spaces are where we spend the most waking hours. So how this space looks and functions is really important to our comfort and well-being. The advantage of a smaller space is that it lends itself to coziness, but it can also get more cluttered, taking away from the comfort and visual appeal of your home. The first step in designing a small living room that looks great and functions well for you is to define the activities of the space, like entertaining, TV watching, game playing, or just relaxing. With those activities in mind, you can use the following steps to create a space that's as comfortable and functional as it is beautiful. No matter your preferred style, simplicity is your friend in designing small spaces. One of the best things you can do for the look and function of a small space is to make sure it's free of clutter. That means editing the number of furniture and decor items and making sure that each piece serves a purpose or two. Simplicity is also important in putting together a color palette to create a cozy and cohesive atmosphere. A neutral color palette in a limited range of colors is a great choice for a small space, making the room feel more connected and expansive. Select colors that flow between the living room and adjacent spaces to give the room a more spacious feel. A few contrasting accents will add interest and make the space feel larger by drawing your eye around the room. Natural light can really help a room appear larger during the day, so take advantage of this and any views you might have with lighter window treatments. For the evening, use layered light around the space and not just in the center of the room, which will leave the walls dark and make the room feel claustrophobic. If you're short on table and floor space for lamps, think about adding pendants, wall lights, or shelf-mounted lighting around the perimeter of the space to balance out any overhead lighting and make the room feel larger by lighting up walls and corners. Using mirrors is a great way to help amplify the light and add a feeling of spaciousness day or night. Proportional furniture is important, but it doesn't have to be tiny. Fewer but larger pieces keep the space from feeling cluttered and have the added benefit of being more comfortable. For the main seating, a comfy sofa is a must and a small sectional can be a good choice if it works in the space, providing a great place to lounge. For additional seating, add a chair or two or consider adding poofs for maximum flexibility. If you need storage in the living room, a coffee table with a top that opens or a storage ottoman would be a great choice. If storage is not such a big issue, coffee tables that nest do a great job of giving you the right proportions, but also allowing you to adjust them as necessary. If you have space for side tables, nesting tables can be a great choice for flexibility. Sea tables are also another great mobile option and for a really great space-saving solution, small drink tables fit the bill perfectly. If your living room is your one and only living space, it will likely have a TV that will need to be either wall-mounted or sit on a horizontal surface of some sort. Use this area as an opportunity to take advantage of vertical and closed storage. Combining open and closed storage is a great way to add some visual interest while keeping clutter tucked away. You could forego rugs and drapery for a very open, spacious look, but you would miss out on the tactile and acoustical comfort they provide. Choosing these items in a color close to the floors and walls will add softness and texture without visually breaking up the space. Wall art is a great way to make a design statement in any space, and in a small living room, a good strategy is to focus on one large piece. Or if you really love a gallery wall, Keep it cohesive with artwork and similar tones like black and white photography, or by framing the pieces in coordinating frames to bring it all together. For more interior design ideas, check out these videos. And if you like this one, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to be the first to know about new videos. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.